means five three two point one nine is five hundreds three tens two ones point one tens nine hundreds. Now let's convert rational numbers to decimal numbers. Rational number means integers and fractions. Let's take one example of integers to decimal. Let's take an example of 14. Now we want to convert the integer 14 into decimal. But we have to see that we don't have to change the value of the number. That means the number should remain 14 only. So what can we do? We can just take one point and add one zero to it. So here you can see that the 14, the number remains same and we have put one decimal point without changing the value of the number. So this will this can be represented as 14.00 also the value will not change it can be set into in tens place we have 1 1 place we have 4 point 100 tens place we have 0 100 place we have 0 now if i take 140 instead of 14 you can see that the value has changed so you can see that if I don't give one decimal point in between 14 and 0 the value will change we have seen the example from integer to decimal without changing the value of the number now, we have seen that the number we have changed from integers to decimal without changing the value of the number. That is 14. We have kept 14.0. Now, let's see how to convert fractions to decimals. For example, we have taken 3 upon 100. If we want to convert 3 upon 100, now we will have to see how many zeros are there in denominator. And then we have to see the number in numerator. Write the number as it is in the answer of numerator. Now we can see there are two zeros. So we just have to put one zero before three. And we have to give decimal and one more zero. So answer becomes 0 0.03. Here we have few more examples like 7 upon 1000. Can you guess what will be the answer? Yes, of course. The answer is 0 0.007. As you can see that. In denominator, there are three zeros. So when we are writing in the answer, after decimal, we should have three numbers. So it becomes 0 0.007. Kids, let's see one more example. The example is 4 up, 48 upon 10. Yes, can you guess the answer? The answer will be... 4.8 very good you can see that in decimal we have only one zero so in the answer after point we should have one digit that is 8 so it becomes 4.8 now kids test yourself by solving this example how would you express 123 upon 10 as a decimal point. Now let's see few more examples. Now we have 3 upon 25. How are we going to solve this? As 
we have learned only the fractions or we can say the decimals which have denominator as 10 or power of 10 in denominators. So let's convert the decimal or the denominator 25 into the 10 or power of 10. How can we do this? It's very easy. Just multiply the number 25 by 4. As we are multiplying to denominator, we need to multiply for numerator also. So we will have 12 upon 100 as 3 fours are 12 and 25 fours are 100. So you can now get the answer very easily. What it will be? Yes, of course, the answer will be very easier. That is, we have two zeros in denominator. So you will know the answer. It is 0 0.12. Students, can you solve similar sum? What we have done, like can you solve for 5 upon 8 in similar manner? Oh, now it has become quite easier, isn't it? Now we have to see what we can take in denominator or which number can be multiplied by 8 to get in denominator the power of 10. Can you guess which number is it? Yes, kids. It's 125. So, if we multiply 8 by 125, you can see that we will get in denominator 1000. As we are multiplying 125 to denominator in same way we need to do for numerator. That is for 5. So, 5 multiplied by 125 is 625 and 8 multiplied by 125 becomes 1000. Now we can convert this easily into decimals. What will be the answer? Yes kids, the answer is 0 0.625. As you can see that there are 3 zeros in denominator. Very good. Let's see some more sums or let's convert first mixed fraction to the decimals. The example 1, 3 upon 5. Let's convert this into improper fraction first. How it will be? 5, 1's are 5 plus 3. That is 8. So 8 upon 5. So we get an improper fraction that is 8 upon 5. Let's convert this into decimal. Isn't it easier? As we know that there is 5 in denominator, we can convert this by multiplying by digit 2 to get the power of 10. So, 8 into 2 and 5 into 2. So, 5 into 2 will become 10 and 8 into 2 will become 16. Can you guess the answer? What will be in decimals? Yes, definitely. The answer is 1.6. Very good kids. Let's see now how to convert 1 by 3 into decimal. Let's do this in simple. Divide this into simple division method. So 3 by 1. Let's do it the division form as you have already learned this. So 3 you can see that as it will not go by 1. So we have taken 0. So 0, it will become 10. We need to give the decimal point. 
So three threes are nine. We get in remainder one. Let's take one more zero. It will become ten. Again, three threes are nine. We get remainder as one. So you can see that in this manner, we are we are getting one in remainder again and again. So the answer becomes zero point three 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 and so on, and can be written in the form of zero point three and the dash. This dash is known as bar. So three point zero point three bar. This method is nothing but recurring decimals. Recurring means repeating of digits. So zero point three 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 can be written in the form of zero point three bar. Thank you. Thank you.